It'd be first and foremost, it's a pleasure to have you here. How happy are you to have signed? No, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm happy, um, ready to start and get going as well. Um, met everyone. It's a happy, happy camp over here. And I'm just excited to start the season. You can tell us a bit more about you and the sort of player you are as well. Um, well, I'm a striker, uh, 24. Lived in London all my life. Um, I love school girls, that's, that's the biggest thing for me. Hope the team win. Of course, I don't know how much you know, but over the oldest time we've been desperate and calling out for a striker. Yeah. So you've pretty much answered the fans' prayers, really, yeah. with, with you coming along. So, and like we said off camera, you're the type of striker who likes to score goals, and that's all you want to do. Yeah, definitely. That, I think it's really important to make sure you help your teammates and like, doing your best for the team always. I think the team comes first, and helping the scoring goals is just a bonus, but it's a big bonus for me as well. <laughs> We're laughing because I spoke about the, the players here and everything like that, and obviously yeah. a few other than them were trying to put you off. So it's, it's, good, it's good environment here. Yeah, yeah no, nah, really happy camp. I really like it here. That the atmosphere, everyone's happy, and it's a givenness. I could already feel it as well. So I'm really happy about that. Yeah. Let's talk about obviously your last few seasons. So last season was a bit of a straight one for you injury wise, yeah. but in terms of that, you're all over it now and ready to start this season. Yeah. Back again. So the season before last, I was doing really well, scoring a lot of goals. I was doing really well, and uh, unlucky got a. Got a bad injury, um, but during last season came back and didn't miss, miss too much football because it was Corona, COVID. So um, that was the one positive I got, I got out of it. But now fully over it, had a good pre season, been training off season as well, so ready to go to be fair. Let's talk about obviously the more successful season the year before. How how do you feel that went and what do you think you can learn and take from that into the season? No, definitely, I think it was my first season back in the National League um, for a while because I, I came out of football for a bit and um, I hit the ground running to be fair, done really well, got into the rhythm of it and started scoring goals and it's just unfortunate I got injured at the time I did but done really well with um, Maystone at the, with the FA Cup, going to the first round, played Blackpool. Um, yeah, and it was a really good season to be honest with you but um, now I'm just trying to get back into that and get 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 going again and try to get that form back again, which I definitely know I will. The striker wise, what sort of striker would you say you are the one that can hold it up or gets behind? You know what's so funny? I think I'm, I could do pretty much everything to be fair. So I like coming to feet, I like playing with the ball, um, I like running in behind. Um, and yeah, just making different chances up. I'm not particular on one type of style, so I think that's a good asset I've got as well to be fair. Let's talk about the manager and the coaching staff here. Is anyone here that you knew in particular that maybe helped you persuade you to join us here? Uh, Danny and Jacob. Uh, I knew Jacob. I've known Jacob for a long time, to be fair. Um, played youth team together at Palace. Um, also with Corey Andrews as well, that's a known from um, AFC Wimbledon. Um, but I had a good chat with Danny. Um, and after the chat, I was pretty, pretty convinced anyway. And he told me everything I needed to hear, to be honest with you, like, in terms of what he's trying to do at the club and the team he's building and player specifics as well. Um, and then literally, after speaking to Danny, my mind was pretty much made up. And then speaking to Jacob, uh, just kind of sealed the deal for me, to be fair. Because you spoke to the manager as well, and he said he wants a smaller squad, but a tighter knit squad, one that yeah. really want to work hard for each other. Do you sort of get that impression with yeah, the lads? Yeah, 100 already, I can tell, because like, everyone's pretty tight, um, tight knit anyway. Um, and everyone talks together. Um, everyone talks um, together. So it's like, I've never really, that every club really has that. You always see like, little groups and stuff, but here, obviously, everyone's really together, and like, it's all one big family. And just with that as well, hopefully this big family is successful next season, starting yeah. next week with the big game against Chesterfield at home. Yeah, big game next week against Chesterfield. Because of course we've also got one final pre-season game against Brentford. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, how are you feeling ahead of that? Yeah, I'm buzzing to play my first game for the show, to be fair. Um, can't wait to get started, hopefully we get the goal and we win. So we can get into uh, next week's game. Uh, just a final question I was asking for this. What's your goals and targets for next season? Goals and targets is to do the best for the team, score the goals needed, and hopefully try to get the team promoted. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Ah.